right, we're gonna do a quick walk around video. Tell you a little bit about the truck. It's a 1997 Ford F-350, 7.3 diesel. Last year they uh, made this body style. So um, I actually got the truck out in Utah. I've been looking for a 350 single cab in a special color um, for a number of years now. Haven't been able to really find anything. This came up for sale um, and I knew I had to have it. So I flew out to Utah drove it um six hours to vegas um we've got a house in vegas so we're gonna keep it there for a little while and then ended up just transporting it out to uh pa for the summer out outside of philadelphia um but really wanted an f-350 um from this generation just because of how much sturdier they were how much more of kind of an old school truck they were with the beefier front end compared to the f-250 um yeah that's one of the reasons why you don't see many uh, 350s come up for sale. I think this is the first one in over a year on bring a trailer. Uh, single cab, 350 power stroke from this generation. So um, it took a while to find it. It was going to either be in this color or Calypso green. Um, but found this one and drove it, as I said, six hours. No issues whatsoever on the trip through the mountains to Vegas. And then ultimately got it out here to Pennsylvania. So um, wanted to just do a quick walk around video, show you some of the imperfections in the paint. Um, it's been an awesome truck, no issues, shifts phenomenally, paint looks unbelievable. Um, once you get up close, you can see some of the scratches. I mean, I honestly, when I'm buying an old truck, that's kind of what I like to see, is some of the scratches and things like that in it, because I know it's not no paint work or anything weird going on. Um, but as you can see here, if we'll get up close, um, yeah, there's a number of scratches once you really get up close to it that you can't really see in pictures and things like that or from even just a few yards away. One of the things I was surprised about was just the lack of stone chips and things um, on the down here in the lower rockers and even the, the uh, cab corners and bed corners and everything. I mean, there's just like nothing, which is crazy. Truck's got 94,000 miles on it. Um, all west coast between um, Utah and Idaho. Frame rails look like they're in really good shape. Um, I mean, it being, there's some residue of the red rocks out there. Um, but there's really no rust issues or anything considerable. Um, Underbody is really clean. As you can see there, the cab corners and bed is just in really, really good shape. Did all new molding here. Um, when I bought the truck, it was, they were kind of just seeing their last life a little bit. So got new molding from uh, Complete Performance um, or CP Addicts, um, and they look awesome. But now, see, as you get up close, you can see some of the paint chips and scratches and things like that. There's one bigger one there. Driver's side door definitely has more than the passenger side door. Obviously gets a lot more use. Diamond plate on the bed rails. Um, I think just really look good with a 90s style truck. You can see though, over time, this hits down on the side of the bed and makes some of these imperfections here in the paint. We did a um, we did PDR on the truck, so there were a couple spots where there were like little tiny dings that we got out on the tailgate, which I'll show you in a second. But overall, the paint looks really, really good. Another scratch down there. More scratches over here. So we did a, between like a 20, 25 hour paint correction on the truck. So um, did an unbelievable job of just really bringing this, this color back to life. I would say the tailgate is probably the area on the truck that has the most little scratches and um, 
stone chips and things on it. Um, we got a new bumper here. Um, the other bumper was just, it was a drop bumper, like 10 inches drop down. And it just didn't, doesn't go good with truck. I think it kind of ruins the lines of these old trucks. So got a brand new um, Weston bumper that just, I mean, it looks great. See the scratches there, bigger one. Scratches and chips up here by the handle. I would say the the tailgate, if there's anything different about the truck from original, it would probably be my suspicion of the tailgate. So they ran the diamond plating all the way down the back. But then you can see here, the only rust on the truck which is why I think it might be put on after the fact is down here under the tailgate. Especially considering, I'll put pictures um, before we did the spray and bed liner. The bed was in great shape, it was phenomenal. It was, I probably shouldn't have sprayed it, um, but I was actually gonna use it, so I wanted to spray it. I've got pictures of what it looks like before. No rust, no nothing, no major dents or anything like that. I mean, it was, the guy had a drop in bed liner and put two stall mats in underneath it, um, and it saved it. It was just, there was no issues at all. So I'll put some before pictures there as well. Here's a ding here. Yeah, in my opinion, I mean, like I said, the two colors to get on this truck, Calypso green with white with the two-tone and this LE blue. And it just looks so good with the paint correction. Another little scratch there. looks like it's in great shape. Yeah. So put new headlamps. Um they were just starting to get worn and I don't like doing the uh just cleaning them up. I think the just getting a new set looks great. These lights here down on the bottom, they don't work. There's a switch for them in the cab. Um, but they do not work. I don't know if they're just out or not. And then the cab, really good shape. There's some wear here on the uh, driver's side door. You can see a little mark there, a little fade from elbows or sun or whatnot. We did, um, we put new speakers in. Uh, the speakers were totally shot, so figured it'd be good for the next owner. Get some new speakers in there. Get it sounded good in here too. Steering wheel's a little worn. Dash is in really good shape, no cracks, no nothing. There's a little mark. Right there, I couldn't get out, but no cracks, no nothing. It's in really good shape. Aftermarket head unit there, but I mean, I kind of prefer that. <laughs> Display here, everything works, everything looks great. Super clear, no dust behind the screen, which is great. Fuel, uh, front and rear fuel work as expected, and seats are in very good condition. There's some little marks and stuff, but nothing crazy. And then we also had a brand new headliner put in. So um, headliner, there was a couple little rips. 
was starting to sag just a little bit. And I think that that just looks terrible. So we went ahead and put a brand new headliner in it about a month ago. Everything that's been done to this truck has been done. Um, you know, to get it, what you're seeing in the pictures has been done in the last month to get it ready for sale. Um, we'll start it here for you. Just so you can hear it. All right, well, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to hit the contact seller button. I'll be around to answer any questions you might have. If you want to come check out the truck, it's about 30 minutes outside of Philly. Um, we'd be more than happy to take someone for a test drive or just come look at it. Thanks.